The Yugane were a branch of the ancient Maykop people, hailing from Colchis, the West Caucasus region famous for the Golden Fleece mythos. They crossed the Balkans and the Alps in the 3rd millennium BC and settled the volcanic area named after them, that is, the Euganian Hills, located a few miles southwest of present-day Padua. As the area is characterized by sacred springs and hydrothermal activity, the most prominent god of the Euganian pantheon was the Indo-Iranian god of fresh water, Apumnapet, otherwise known as Apsu or Apanus. The word Apa means water in several ancient Indo-Iranian languages. Euganian lore is replete with oracle sites through which the demon Garion spoke to Querens from all over northern Italy. According to legend, the demigod Phaethon had crashed into the Euganian hills and his sun chariot had fallen into a local river, thus generating hot springs. The city the Euganian people founded in this area was called Abano, a word still used in some Caucasian languages to refer to a hot spring or bathhouse. The town of Abano was divided into two neighborhoods, the northern quarter named Montirone, or Abano proper, and the southern quarter called Montagnone, commonly known as Montegrotto. The name Montegrotto means mountain of caverns, due to the network of underground tunnels and chambers connecting various local hills, which was built in antiquity as a defensive refuge, as well as for storage of food supplies, weapons and gold. A stream of geothermal water called Rio Alto flows from Montirone to Montegrotto. Since time immemorial, Abano's mineral water and mud have been believed to have healing properties and to yield physical and spiritual purification. Between the 1st century BC and the 1st century AD, several poets lived there, such as Titus Livius, who wrote The Founding of the City, Gaius Valerius Flaccus, who retold the adventures of Jason and the Argonauts, and Lucius Aruntus Stella, who was actually a priest entrusted with the care of the oracles in the Euganian hills. Abano was sacked by the Huns in 450 and by the Goths in 541. The Lombards stormed and burned the town in 613, so many ancient artifacts and buildings were seriously damaged. The townspeople fled to the hills and later returned to eke out a living among the ruins. The Frankish state consolidated its hold over most of Western Europe by the end of the 8th century, and Charlemagne was crowned Holy Roman Emperor by Pope Leo III in the year 800. After Pope Gregory VII excommunicated and deposed the German King Henry IV in 1076, Henry IV, his wife Bertha of Savoy, and their young son Conrad crossed the Alps and the Po Valley to meet Gregory VII in Canossa Castle, where they removed their shoes and knelt before the Pope to beg his forgiveness. In spite of their extreme display of humility, Gregory VII did not change his decision. Henry finally ran out of patience and went on to besiege and occupy Rome. In 1084, Henry and Bertha were crowned Emperor and Empress of the Holy Roman Empire by the anti-pope Clement III. On their way back to Germany, they stopped at Monte Grotto, where they received a hero's welcome. In the second half of the 11th century, Abano enjoyed a period of calm and prosperity, which led to the foundation of St. Daniel's Monastery and the renowned Pralia Abbey, 
on two hills just west of the town center. The monks and neighboring community have since engaged in agricultural work and the production of wine, oil, honey, and herbal remedies. The most celebrated native of Abano was born in 1257. He became known globally as the great philosopher Peter of Abano. He traveled extensively and studied in Greece, Anatolia, and France. However, as soon as he returned to Italy, he was accused of heresy and witchcraft, mainly because he had written books about alchemy and necromancy. He died in prison in 1315, before the end of his trial. In the 15th century, another important monastery was built at the foot of a hill called Monte Ortone, about halfway between St. Daniel's and Pralia Abbey. Next to Monte Ortone Church lies a crypt, which houses a holy well of healing water. In the 16th century, the Capo de Lista family was one of the most powerful in Abano. Their hilltop mansion was surrounded by vineyards and beehives, from which wine and mead are still produced to this day. Meanwhile, another powerful family called Capo de Vaca was living in a mansion in Monte Grotto. On their farm, they raised cattle and grew vegetables. Their property, known as Villa Draghi, is surrounded by woods of oaks, hornbeams, chestnut and strawberry trees, still inhabited by wild boars, foxes, snakes and birds of prey. One of the most mysterious churches in Monte Grotto is an 18th century sanctuary which houses the statue of a black Madonna of obscure Polish origin. Villa Mocenigo Minardi, built in the early 18th century, was one of Abano's first hotels in a modern sense. In 1752, it accommodated the Venetian playwright Carlo Goldoni, who, while there, wrote The Country Philosopher and The Feudal Lord. The author Giacomo Casanova also stayed there in 1779 while on a mission as a spy for the Venetian Republic. In the 19th century, several Jewish entrepreneurs boosted the development of modern hotels, spas and swimming pools. One of them was Luigi Luzzati, who built a reputation as a social reformer dedicated to lifting the local families out of poverty through education. During World War I, Abano's hotels provided board and lodging, medicines and water treatments for ill and injured soldiers. Hotel Trieste served as the headquarters for the Italian Army Command while Hotel Orologio was used as the living quarters and mess hall by high-ranking officials. Villa Moline was the site of preliminary negotiations that led to the Austrian-Italian armistice, which was signed in 1918 in the nearby Villa Giusti, where King Victor Emmanuel III was residing. The king's other residence was Villa Piave, which also served as Abano's cultural center. During World War II, all of Abano's infrastructure was used by the German army as well as the International Red Cross. That's why the town was spared bombings, except for one air attack on a train at the local railroad station. As the economy picked up in the decades following the war, St. Lawrence Cathedral in Abano and St. Peter's Cathedral in Monte Grotto were consecrated in the 1960s. In 1988, the Abano government realized the need to protect the fauna and flora of the Euganian Hills and established a nature reserve in the area southwest of the town center. 
At the same time, a conservatory called Butterfly Ark was inaugurated in Monte Grotto, in which rare plants and small animals could thrive and be displayed to the public. In 1996, a group of scholars and designers created a meridian in Abano's main square. The Gnomon features the portraits of Peter of Abano and Galileo Galilei, while the pavement pattern bears astrological and alchemical symbols. In 2004, the Sartori family, who had been making masks and theatrical props for most of their life, opened the Mask Museum, which includes a workshop and offers courses in the mask tradition. In 2014, the Deep Joy Pool was inaugurated in Monte Grotto as the deepest hydrothermal pool in the world, having a depth of 42 meters. Let me wrap up this video with a verse by Percy Bysshe Shelley that perfectly describes the misty hills around Monte Grotto. Many flowering islands lie in the waters of wide agony. To such a one this morn was led my bark by soft winds piloted. Mid the mountains Euganian, I stood listening to the paean with which the legion rooks did hail the sun's uprise majestical. Gathering round with wings all hoar, through the dewy mist they soar like gray shades till the eastern heaven bursts, and then, as clouds of even, flecked with fire and azure, lie in the unfathomable sky. So their plumes of purple grain, starred with drops of golden rain, gleam above the sunlight woods, as in silent multitudes. On the morning's fitful gale, through the broken mist they sail, and the vapors, cloven and gleaming, follow down the dark steep streaming till all is bright and clear and still round the solitary hill.